Hello students, this is Dr. Rajneesh, Associate Professor at Noida Institute of Engineering and Technology, Pharmacy Institute. So, I am here with uh, one more topic, which belongs to the Pharmaceutical Organic Chemistry third subject code is BP 401T. So, in continuation of our, uh, with our previous lecture, where we have discussed the method of preparation, properties, chem chemical reactions and medicinal use of the five member heterocyclic compounds containing one heteroatom mainly we have focused on the pyrrole, furon and theophene. Okay. So, in continuation with those topics, now uh, I am coming uh, the last unit of that, uh, the last topic of the unit third of your syllabus that is relative aromaticity and reactivity of pyrrole, furon and theophene. So, uh, just remember when I was discussing about the structure and aromaticity in case of pyrrole, furon and theophene, uh, in all the three compounds I have said that, that pyrrole is more reactive than the benzene, furon is also more reactive than the benzene and theophene is also more reactive benzene. Okay. So, it is clear now that all the three heterocyclic compounds that is furon, theophene and pyrrole are more reactive than the benzene and I told you about that, that it, this is because, because benzene is having more resonance energy than all of these three heterocyclic compounds okay. uh, and, and I told you that, that aromaticity you can say is directly indicator of the stability. The more aromatic compounds uh, have the more stability, okay. the less aromatic compounds have the less stability okay. and, and these relative aromaticity of furon, pyrrole and theophene and their derivatives can be examined by using uh, some important parameters. For example, most uh, the most important uh, parameters are TRE that is topological resonance energy, it is a, a short of resonance energy which we can measure to determine the stability or the aromaticity of a particular compounds. Then come to the MRE that is magnetic resonance energy. So, again this is again a type of resonance energy. Okay. So, these are all the, these two are the actually indicators of the stability or aromaticity of the particular heterocyclic or aromatic compounds, the more will be the topological or magnetic resonance energy, the more will be the compound stable. Okay. The third thing we can or thing uh, the third factor we can uh, determine is ring current and ring current, the fourth is ring current diamagnetic susceptibility methods. So, these are the methods and the parameters which can be, det be determined uh, in the determination of the aromaticity and the stability of the heterocyclic compounds. Okay. And uh, when uh, I told you that furon, pyrrole and theophene is, is more reactive than the benzene, it means, it means you can say that, that the presence of heteroatom may cause, may cause loss of aromaticity or enhance in the reactivity. So, it was expected that the inclusion of heteroatom would decrease the aromaticity relative to the relative to the benzene or if I am talking about a 5 member ring, then you can say that relative to the cyclo penta denial anion okay, here. So, now we should move forward. Okay. The cyclo penta denial anion is a C 5 symmetric aromatic 5 member cyclic carbonyl. For example, this is this is cyclo pentadiene cyclopentadiene, you can see the structure, molecular orbital structure of that cyclopentadiene, here, here, hmm, this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, this carbon is sp2 sp hybridized, but that particular carbon is sp3 hybridized. All the sp2 hybridized carbon is having one electron in the p orbital. Okay. Here, you can see sp3 hybridized or, uh, carbon is present. When this cyclopentadiene is reacting with sodium ethoxide means some waste. Okay, what happens? One, one H will be removed. 
as a H plus and we are getting cyclopentadienyl anion here you can see you are getting this okay. and that cyclopentadienyl anion will be stable how because there are the presence of two resonating structure those resonating structure will provide the stability to this cyclopentadienyl anion you can see this okay t resonating structure is there okay and in that particular cyclopentadienyl anion now this carbon become sp2 hybridized which is also having electrons but two electrons are there in that they are p orbitals okay so total six pi electrons are there in case of cyclopentadienyl anion hmm, okay six pi electrons matlab means it will show the aromaticity it will follow the huckel's rule okay so we can compare this cyclopentadienyl anion with uh, our studied heterocyclic compounds containing one heteroatom that is furon pyrrol and the theophene because all of them are the aromatics all of them having the five member ring okay uh, all uh, of them are following the huckel rules so uh, this cyclopentadienyl anion can be easily compared with those uh, heterocyclic compounds containing one heteroatom like pyrrol furon and theophene okay so i mean to say that pyrrol furon and theophene can be considered as a corresponding aromatic system where the anionic ch unit anionic ch unit have been replaced by the isoelectric nh oxygen and sulfur in case of pyrrol this unit that particular unit will be replaced by the nh in case of furon it is replaced by the oxygen in case of theophene it will be replaced by the sulfur they are no longer c5 symmetric okay and do not bear a negative charge but they retain 6p electrons and are still aromatic so after replacing the anionic ch species with nh o and uh, theophene we are getting the pyrrol furon and theophene but there is no negative charge you can say lone pair may be present on that particular heteroatom which you have replaced okay so you can see there now we are having uh, this is the anionic ch in case of cyclopentadienyl anion when with this ch from nh we are having sp2 hybridized nh no negative charge but lone pair of nitrogen is certainly there when we <coughs> replace this ch this ch from o then again we are getting sp2 hybridized orbital of oxygen no negative charge but lone pair of oxygen is also there yeah this is this is actually sorry this is the lone pair this is the lone pair and again on replacing this C, um, anionic ch with the sulfur we are getting sp2 hybridized sulfur again lone pair of oxygen uh, is there okay now uh, uh, the molecular orbital diagram for the cyclopentadienyl anion can be generated the asymmetry introduced by the ch when replaced by ns o oxygen and sulfur replacement non degenerative mos for pyrrol furon and the theophene you can see very easily okay uh, cycle, this is cyclopentadienyl uh, anion six pi electrons are there mm, mm, you can see mm, one two three at the same energy level again one to same energy level five member rings okay mm. now it is replaced by the uh, nh oxygen uh, oxygen and the sulfur so you can say mm, non degenerative micro uh, molecular orbitals for pyrrol furon and theophene is obtained here you can see this is mm, it is not the same energy level Hmm. Moreover, the energy match and the orbital overlap between the heteroatom centric p orbital and the adjacent c centric p orbital is less good, and so the resonance energy are lower. So now we are moving towards the lower energy. Okay, as I told you in the in, uh, starting, that resonance energy can be a parameter to determine the stability. So consequently, <coughs> consequently the resonance energy means ground state. Thermodynamic stabilities, same things happening now, as I told you, loosely reflect the difference in the Pauling electronegativities of the sulfur, nitrogen, and oxygen relative to the 
carbon. So, you can see here this last statement is very very important where you can see that all the hetero atoms all the hetero atoms that is sulfur nitrogen and oxygen is having higher electronegativity than the carbon. Okay. So, the most electronegative atom is oxygen then there is nitrogen then there is sulfur then there is okay, so on. So, these three are more electronegative than the carbon. Okay. So, now coming to the points. Suppose, now this is the structure. Okay. Now, I am talking to, to the just a minute. This is the structure, common structure of the five member heterocyclic compounds containing one hetero atom. Now, what uh, what uh, or you can say how it is how it is following the uh, following the Huckel's rule because this lone pair of the hetero atom is getting involved in the delocalization with the pi electrons of the ring that is why the total number of the pi electrons become 6 okay, or you can say 6 pi electrons is present in the ring that is why it is following the Huckel's rule. Suppose, suppose this hetero atom is not ready to give its electrons to get involved in the delocalization with the other pi electrons of the ring what is how the thing goes. Hmm? Then certainly aromatic character of the ring will get will get destroyed. Okay. So, when I am saying that that suppose this when I am saying electronegativity oxygen is higher than nitrogen than sulfur it means in case of furon oxygen is present as a hetero atom that oxygen in furon will hold its lone pair of electrons very tight because of its higher electronegativity as compared with the pyrrol and theophene. Okay. Pyrrol in case will hold its lone pair of electrons again very tighter than the theophene. When these of, uh, oxygen and nitrogen will hold, hold its electrons tighter, it means it will not allow its lone pair of electron to participate in the delocalization of the um, uh, on uh, in the ring, it means it will somehow decrease its aromaticity or aromatic character. Okay, you can easily understand. I mean to say that in case of furon, oxygen is more electronegative. It is not allowing its electrons, lone pair of electron, to easily delocalize with the other two pi electrons. Uh, okay. Neg in comparison with uh, pyrrol, pyrrol is little bit less electronic, uh, less electronegative than the oxygen. So, pyrrol in comparison with furon is allowing more uh, allowing, allowing more its electron to participate. So, we can say that if oxygen ki electron negativity is more, then it will not lone pair of electrons ko participate nahi karne dega aaram se tight karke rakhega hold karke rakhega uski wajah se kya hoga furon ki aromaticity thodi si decrease ho jayegi agar hum pyrrol ki baat karenge to nitrogen ki electronegativity oxygen se thodi si kam hai to furon ke comparison mein pyrrol ke andar jo lone pair of electrons hai nitrogen ke wo zyada participate kar payenge iska matlab pyrrol jo hoga wo furon se thoda sa zyada aromatic hoga jab hum sulfur ki baat karenge so, sulfur ke paas bhi lone pair of electron hai, lekin sulfur ki electronegativity you can see it is lowest in case of uh, oxygen and nitrogen. So, sulfur ke case mein lone pair wa, uh, was easily available uh, to participate in the delocalization all along the ring. So, waha par aromatic character jada maintain rahega. So, hum keh sakte hai ki uh, aromaticity is inversely proportional to the electronegativity of the heteroatom. Jitna jada electronegative heteroatom present rahega, utni kam aromatic character hoga. To iska matlab ye hua 
कि थियोफिन थियोफिन सबसे अधिक एरोमेटिक हुआ इन तीनों कंपाउंड्स में ना उसके बाद पायरॉल आएगा उसके बाद ऑक्सीजन आएगा तो जब हम एरोमेटिक सिटी की बात करते हैं तो थियोफिन इज मोर एरोमेटिक देन पायरॉल विच इज अल्टीमेटली मोर एरोमेटिक देन द फिरॉन बिकॉज ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी ओके नाउ द डिक्रीज रेजोलेंस एनर्जी इन द सीरीज दैट इज आई एम सेंग थियोफिन पायरॉल एंड फिरॉन ओके आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट दैट Increasing tendency to react as a diens in the diels and the reaction and the undergo electrophilic addition reaction. So this is the proof uh, of their uh, resonance energy and their stability. However, relative resonance energies are not the main factor affecting the reactive reaction uh, reactivities of the electrophile. So again, very very important point to take care that relative resonance energies are not the main factor affecting the relative reactivity with the electrophile. so what happens actually i, I will see pyrrol fluor and thiophen have six pi electron distributed over five atoms so the carbon framework or all inherently electron rich okay relative to benzene with six pi electrons over six atoms all reacts quicker than the benzene with <coughs> electrophile so kehne ki baat ye hai ki jab hum five member heterocyclic compounds ki baat kar rahe hain wahan par six pi electrons jo hain wo panch पांच जो एटम्स के ऊपर डिस्ट्रीब्यूट है जबकि बेंजीन की अगर हम कंपेरिजन करें तो बेंजीन में सिक्स पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन सिक्स के ऊपर डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हैं तो हम कह सकते हैं कि फाइव मेंबर हाइट्रोसाइकिल कंपाउंड्स में जो मेंबर्स के ऊपर इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी होगी वो ज़्यादा होगी गॉट इट बेंजिन के ऊपर जो मेंबर्स हैं छः के छः कार्बन ही हैं उनके ऊपर जो इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी है वो बनस्पत कंपेरिजन जब हम करेंगे फाइव मेम्बर्स से तो कम होगी तो भैया एक भी एक फैक्टर ये भी है कि चूंकि सॉरी चूंकि इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी मेंबर्स के ऊपर फाइव मेंबर हाइट्रोसाइकिल कंपाउंड्स के अंदर ज़्यादा है तो इलेक्ट्रोफाइल क्या करेगा वो जल्दी अटैक करेगा फाइव मेंबर्स कंपाउंड्स फाइव मेंबर हाइट्रोसाइकिल कंपाउंड्स कंटेनिंग वन हाइड्रो आइटम के ऊपर गॉट इट तो दूसरी वजह ये हो गई है ना बेंजिन के मुकाबले तो भैया फिरॉन पायरॉल और थियोफिन ये ज़्यादा रिएक्टिव है क्योंकि इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी ज़्यादा है बेंजीन के मुकाबले में गॉट इट और फिर हमने बात की कि भैया इनकी आपस में तीनों में बात कर लो तो हमने कहा कि बेंजीन ज़्यादा इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिव है लोन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन टाइट करके रखेगा होल्ड करके रखेगा अलाउ नहीं करेगा उसके मुकाबले में पायरॉल थोड़ा कम इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिव है थोड़ा बेंजिन के मुकाबले में थोड़ा आराम से दे देगा थियोफिन सबसे कम इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिव है तो इसके लोन पेयर आराम से अवेलेबल रहेंगे फॉर द डिलोकलाइजेशन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट सबसे अधिक एरोमेटिक जो होगा इन तीनों में वो थियोफिन होगा उससे कम पायरॉल होगा और सबसे कम जो एरोमेटिक होगा वो क्या होगा वो फिरॉन होगा गॉट इट अच्छा तो दो चीज़ें निकल के आ गई है ना नाउ <coughs> फिर हम बात करते हैं तो एरोमेटिक करेक्टर तो हमने देख लिया कि वास्तव में कैसे होता है ना फिर हम बात करते हैं कि स्टेबिलिटी की बात करते हैं या रिएक्ट सॉरी रिएक्टिविटी की बात करते हैं तो एरोमेटिक में तो हमने देखा नोट कर लीजिएगा इसको एरोमेटिसिटी जो होती है वो सबसे अधिक हो गई सल्फ थियोफिन की फिर हो गई पायरॉल की फिर हो गई फिरॉन की वॉट इट अब नेक्स्ट की जो बात करते हैं वो हम करते हैं रिएक्टिविटी सो विल टॉक अबाउट द रिएक्टिविटी ओके सो हमने कहा एरोमेटिसिटी इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू द स्टेबिलिटी है ना इसका मतलब थियोफिन सबसे अधिक स्टेबल होना चाहिए नाइट्रोज पायरॉल उससे कम स्टेबल होना चाहिए और फ्यूरॉल उससे कम स्टेबल होना चाहिए और हमने ये भी कहा कि रिएक्टिविटी की जब हम बात करेंगे क्या बात करेंगे रिएक्टिविटी की बात करेंगे तो रिएक्टिविटी जस्ट अपोजिट टू था स्टेबिलिटी तो इसके हिसाब से तो रिएक्टिविटी कैसे हो जानी चाहिए थी सबसे अधिक फ्यूरॉन की हो जानी चाहिए थी फिर नाइट्रोजन की होनी चाहिए थी फिर सल्फर की हो जानी चाहिए थी यही होना चाहिए था लेकिन ऐसा होता नहीं है गॉट इट ये नहीं होता है क्या होता है सबसे अधिक रिएक्टिव होता है पायरॉल उससे कम रिएक्टिव होता है फिरॉन और सबसे कम रिएक्टिव होता है थियोफिन दस ए मिनट आई विल शो यू अगेन सो 
सो so, ऐसे होना चाहिए था लेकिन ये नहीं होता है ओके okay, कैसे होता है द करेक्ट ऑर्डर विल बी लाइक दिस तो पायरॉल इज द मोस्ट रिएक्टिव फॉलोड बाय द फ्यूरॉन फॉलोड बाय द सल्फर हाउ इट इज हैपनिंग एक्चुअली एक्चुअली दिस इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज 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 थियोफिन के साथ तो कोई चक्कर ही नहीं है तो सबसे लास्ट में है ही जो पेंच फंस रहा है वो हमारा फंस रहा है पायरॉल के साथ और फ्यूरॉन के साथ तो होता क्या है वास्तव में नाइट्रोजन इज नाइट्रोजन इज ट्राइवेलेंट ओके ट्राइवेलेंट बिकॉज ऑफ वाइल ऑक्सीजन इज ऑक्सीजन इज बाइवेलेंट तो बिकॉज ऑफ द ट्राइवेलेंट नेचर ऑफ द नाइट्रोजन ये क्या करता है ये पॉजिटिव चार्ज को जल्दी एकोमोडेट कर लेता है Got it? That nitrogen have more capability to accommodate positive charge than the oxygen of the furon. Because of that, it will, uh, you can say, it will uh, adopt more reactivity than the furon. So please remember the order: aromaticity because of the electronegative characters. of the oxygen nitrogen and sulfur occurs in the order thiophene is the more aromatic uh, compounds followed by nitrogen and furon is the least aromatic compounds when we are talking about the reactivity we we please take care please take care that pyrrole is the most reactive followed by the furon followed by the thiophene and you have to mention in the exam that because nitrogen in case of pyrrole nitrogen is a trivalent uh, atom <coughs> it will accommodate positive charge more easily than the oxygen of the furon when it will go for the electrophilic substitution reaction that's why that's why pyrrole become more reactive than the furon okay now here you can see Uh, additionally the distribution of pi electron density between the hetero atom and the carbons varies considerably between the three ring system the overall difference are manifested most clearly in the uh, calculated pi electron density the calculated pi electron density reflect the relative reactivities of the three heterocyclics towards the electrophile so here you can see this is a general structure of the five member heterocyclic compounds containing one hetero atom so here the, this particular um, heterocyclic compounds undergo the electrophilic substitution reaction and you can see the reactive rates of the reaction the relative rate of the reaction you can see pyrrole has the highest rate of the reaction that is 5.3 into 10 to power 7 after that furon is there 1.4 into 10 to power 2 and thiophene is having the least rate of the reaction that is 1 okay so as i told you pyrrole is most reactive followed by the furon followed by the thiophene because it will adopt the positive it will accommodate the positive charge uh, more easily than the furon okay while benzene is not reacting with this compounds so the calculated pi electron density reflect the balance of opposing factors inductive withdrawal of the electron density away from the carbons via s bonds means electronegativity when we are talking about so electronegative atoms are there that is furon um, uh, thiophene and pyrrole so inductive effect will be there which, which will cause the push of electron towards the electronegative atoms resonance donation of electron density towards the carbons via the pi bonds resonance is the dominant factor pushing electron density onto the carbon and hence the affecting reactivity got it now we will summarize the overall um uh, lectures the type of first atom which donate two electrons in the system as well as the number of nitrogen atom and their position in the molecule have a strong effect on the aromaticity as i told you before in general aromaticity is hence when the nitrogen atom is adjacent to the first hydro atom 
okay so this is the point which is very very important aromaticity is enhanced when the nitrogen atom is adjacent to the first hetero atom the magnitude of aromaticity is related closely with the uniformity of the distribution of pi electrons in the molecules theophene is having more more resonance energy so these compounds are more aromatic other compounds like pyrrole and furans they have less resonance energy so they are less aromatic as i told you that resonance energy is clear indicator of the stability okay and aromatic mm, correct the greater the donating ability of non carbon number of the heterocyclic ring greater is the aromaticity so here you can see non confused uh, estuaries pyrrol will be always more reactive than the furan which uh, uh, is more uh, reactive than the theophene and please note because this nitrogen is trivalent and having uh, character to accommodate positive charge more easily that's why this is more reactive than the furan so i hope <coughs> that you have enjoyed the lecture hmm. thank you so much thank you so much students take care